Hi, it's Lee from the Japanese Water Gardens. In this video, I'm going to be answering a question that I get asked almost every day. It's a simple enough question, but it certainly does not have a straightforward answer. Boy, do I wish it did. Keep watching. I am going to try and answer the question, how many fish can I keep in my pond? Try to answer. In the old days of fish keeping, before the days of pumps and filters, there was a simple formula that was often quoted. You can keep one inch of fish for every square foot of surface area. The basis of this formula was oxygen exchange at the surface. To apply the formula, you just needed to measure the length and the width of the pond in feet. You then multiplied them all together to calculate the surface area. The result was then divided by 4, the average length of a goldfish, and you had your answer. So a pond 6 foot by 5 foot with no filter or pump could accommodate 30 inches of fish, about 7 goldfish. Now here's where things start to become vague. Add an air pump and you can increase the number of fish by a significant margin. But as the number of fish increases, you will start to get a buildup of ammonia, a toxic waste product excreted by the fish. If the ammonia becomes concentrated in the water, it will be harmful and possibly lethal to the fish. So in a modern pond, there will be a biological filter designed to break down the ammonia into nitrites and nitrates, progressively less harmful compounds. The more efficient the filter, the more ammonia it can break down, and the more fish you can keep. To further complicate the situation, goldfish and koi are not the same. A 12 inch long koi will need significantly more oxygen than four 4 inch long goldfish and produce a significant amount more ammonia. A 12 inch long koi will have a mass equivalent approximately to 30 goldfish. So the old formula is of little use. It is far too simplistic in nature to be relevant on a modern koi pond with a good filtration system. More elaborate formula do exist but they are a complete waste of time. The answer that you can get from these is of no importance to the average pond keeper. The question of how many fish you can keep in a pond is actually a pointless question. You can keep a huge amount of fish if you have a massive filter, a powerful aeration system, and are prepared to do lots of regular water changes. But is this really a sensible thing to do? What if you have an electrical power failure or one of your pumps malfunctions? How long will the fish survive? Overcrowding is a stress factor. The more fish that you have, the more rapidly a disease or parasite will spread through the pond. The question that we should really be asking is, how many fish should I have in my pond? When pushed for an answer, I usually recommend around 10 18 inch fish per thousand gallons. Now I know that others will disagree with this, but I believe that this number will give you a good display. Have less fish, but better fish. By that I mean don't stock up your pond with lots of average unremarkable fish. Instead, be selective, be careful what you buy, choose quality over quantity. How many fish do you have in your ponds? Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you like what you see, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give the video a thumbs up. It's bye for now from Lee at the Japanese Water Gardens.